Hey James, so there are a lot of MCP servers out there, but I heard about these two new ones that can really supercharge Kiro and make you more productive. Can you tell me more about it? Yeah, absolutely. So with the AWS MCP servers, we have two new ones, as you said. We've got the API one. This makes it really easy to interact with AWS, query your resources, potentially make changes to your resources. And then we have the knowledge one, which brings in documentation, things from the Builder Center. And so both of these together actually make you super productive when you're working with AWS. So let's dive in, I'll, I'll give you a quick demo. So here in Kiro, what I'm gonna do is be able to uh, edit this mcp.json file. We can do, get to that by opening up the Kiro menu, going to MCP servers, hitting this edit button, and we'll see that I've put in both of those MCP servers I just mentioned. The first one is that AWS API MCP server, and that uses a tool called UV. Have you ever used UV? No, I haven't. It's a great uh, like build tool for Python. Makes it really easy to pull down a Python library and run it. So that's what we're using. We're pulling down that, that server and starting it up. I'm pointing it to my AWS region, US East 1. I give it a working directory because the AWS CLI actually needs to know what directory it's in, if it's gonna copy files, that sort of thing. And then I can also set this read only, uh, read operations only to true, if I wanna just be safe to make sure that you know it's not gonna go accidentally mutating stuff in my AWS infrastructure. And so with this one, you know, it does, it is gonna give essentially the AI access to your AWS environment. So you probably wanna put some safeguards and not use this for like, you know, your production system, maybe just for exploring, testing, that sort of thing. Uh, so that's the first one. Let me show you how to use it. I'm gonna go into Kiro, into the vibe mode. So what I'm gonna do is tell it to list my S3 buckets. And it's gonna think about that for a second because it's actually using a pretty sophisticated model to turn that into an AWS CLI command to then make the call up to AWS. So before it does anything, it's gonna ask me, are you sure you wanna do this? Here's what I'm gonna do, are you sure? And I'm gonna say, yep, I'm sure, run it. And then what'll happen is we'll see the output from this call uh, kind of stream in there, uh, but you'll see there it goes, it listed my S3 buckets, even gave me some information about when they were created, gives me a little summary. So great, now I've got this like natural language interface to talk to my resources on AWS. Uh, okay, the next one here is that knowledge server. So this one has access to a number of documents on AWS, documentation, uh, the new builder center. So it indexes all that and, and can search that. And so for that, I did have to use this MCP proxy, also using UV. And then I tell it that the transport is the MCP streamable HTTP protocol. And then I just give it the URL. And now I can come in and ask it questions like, uh, I'm gonna say, how do I deploy with Bedrock Agent Core Runtime? And that's something that the model doesn't know, but this knowledge server knows. And so now it's going to say like, hey, I'm going to search the documentation for information about that. And I'm gonna say, yep, I do want you to do that. So it's calling this MCP tool and it's gonna do a number of different operations. I can, I think, just say like, like accept all or whatever, but I'm gonna approve each one individually. It's gonna read documentation. So it's gonna go through all these iterative steps learning from the documentation, and then will give me a nice summary of something that is brand new, which is super cool to be able to have access to that type of information within Kiro. I think something with AWS before, it's always hard to find the correct documentation, so this makes it much easier. Yeah, exactly. Like this gives you the natural language interface to the documentation. So you don't have to go search through the whole documentation website and the many other sites that are all indexed with this MCP tool as well. It's not just the normal documentation site. So you've probably had that uh, situation where you open up like a hundred different tabs in your browser and then you have to go read through all those. And this is like essentially doing that all for you, doing that work for you of taking all that information, distilling it down into exactly what you wanna know. Great, so it looks like we got our documentation there for how to use this brand new agent core service. And those are our two MCP servers. So if you wanna get started, the best way is to go to the GitHub page. It's github.com slash AWS labs slash MCP. And you can find that link below. And then go to the getting started with AWS and you can find those, the information on those two MCP servers and how to install them into Kiro or wherever you wanna use those. What I find really interesting is you could take these two MCP servers and use them together. So one can help you with documentation, one can actually help you craft and build your application using the API. If you like this video, make sure you click like and subscribe and let us know what you want us to build next.